I'm as good as... Oh, I don't know if I'm as good as Nick. You'll have to judge. Also, if you've never attended a poetry slam, I have two pieces, and I like really wanted like a New York like cafe bar feel. So thank you, Megan. I I, I thought it was dark, um, and that would be troubling. Um, but I really, if you thank you, I have two pieces. Snaps for Megan Megan Lancaster. Thank you. Um, but. Um, I have two pieces, so don't clap in between, as good as they are. But, um, more snaps for Megan. <laughs> Yay, light. Um, but you could... <laughs> if you find it particularly moving, go ahead and snap. Snap in between. And whatever moves you, I suppose. It is very serious though. I wrote these and this is the first time I've ever shared them with like a big audience. So hopefully I don't throw up and stuff. <laughs> what did you do? I'm trying to full beast the right way. Okay. Sorry, I'm perfectionist. Now we're good. I'm the character. Yeah. Numb. It's the numb that keeps me alive, keeps my heart beating, eyes open wide. Numb. Only allow some of it in at a time, so I don't have to fight it all at once. That creature's too fearsome for my flesh and blood. Numb. Force shallow breathing in as it comes. That anesthesia kicks in with the blade of a knife on the edge of a pin. Slowly at first, then collapses in on me. Will I bleed this anesthetic medicine if you cut me deep enough? Or does my heart still pump the vital stuff of fantasy? The ever-fading no memory of normalcy, blood that isn't tainted with this much numb. So that I can't feel what I know I've held back for so long. You who say that I'm strong haven't seen the depths of my eyes. Haven't seen the tears they haven't cried because that would mean hurt and hurt it isn't good and what isn't good cannot stay in this place it isn't welcome on my face it's a disgrace to let anyone know that your day just isn't perfect that some things just aren't working the way they should and what good is a heart that can't feel what use is a reflection if it isn't real why spend hours gazing into fragments of half truth pieced back together to deceive you into thinking everything's going to go back to the way it was just like that Everything, oh sorry. It's a little known fact that I've busted up my mirror more times than I care to admit. Held screaming matches with the inanimate all because of one word, forbidden. Forbidden, off limits, don't touch that, it's not yours, none of your business, admit it, numb. The rules of the mirror that forces me to abide by, they remind me where I'm from, the place of no return, the end with no clear start. Is there any sort of way out of here, this labyrinth called my heart? It's cold at first, and then the icy sting, it slowly fades. It's always cold at first until numb replaces pain. Then you're plunged into this limbo between what is and what is not. You want to tell somebody else about it, but you forgot that numb has no name. No identity, no address. Not even pain has courage to follow numb as it seeps down in your chest. But with it comes a whole new kind of pain words cannot convey. The thing about numb, it makes the human go away. Crucifixion, a subtly powerful, silently mournful moment of conviction, friction, affliction, even addiction, because at that moment, Lord, my heart became unspeakably, irrevocably yours. Before I knew the light of day, before I was born, you knew me. At that moment, when blood and water flowed from your side, you defined the rest of history, not only my share of this mystery, but that of the whole world. In every moment of pain, I remember yours too. In the fear and the heartache, I reminded of what you went through to make me yours, to save my soul, to win the war, to make the broken forever whole. In the garden, you said on Gethsemane's hill, Father, not mine, it must be, but only your will. You poured out your life in blood, sweat, and tears, and you gave me every reason to abandon this fear. 
And as you walked upon the ground of Calvary, in your mind's eye, you said to me, Darling, I love you, but I know you don't see. So they'll take these nails and these thorns, crown me another kind of king. I endured the hate, the trials, the scorn as the humblest of offerings. I laid down my life to give you yours anew. My body I laid down in love's purest truth. <laughs>